Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make these sweet and simple Easter egg canvases using your Silhouette Cameo. Now, I designed this scroll work Easter egg pattern on for my Silhouette Cameo and I'm going to make four of these, one for each of the canvases I'll be printing out. And I will also have these des this design available for you on my blog, so you will be able to go over there and pick up this same Easter egg pattern if you would like it. And I'm just going to go through and weed this. It weeds pretty quickly. All right, now I have my egg all weeded and I'm just going to put my um, transfer tape over it. Right, and then I'm just going to make sure it's well adhered to the transfer tape so that when we pull that backing off, it's ready to transfer. And this is a very important thing to do. So especially if you have something that has a lot of small parts to it, because if you lose any of those, um, it, it could jeopardize your whole design. Or if any of them tear, I've had that happen too. All right, now I'm going to put it on this, I believe it's a nine by 12 is the size I got um, canvas. This is not the easiest thing to do. It doesn't, the vinyl does not stick to the canvas very well. Um, but uh, I really like the end result, so I'm willing to struggle with it. Okay, so there we go, we have that back off. And I'm just going to center this where I want it on my canvas. For this, especially because the canvas has some give to it, um, I'm going to flip this over and I am going to work on adhering this on the back like this because I really don't want it um, Put, I really don't want to push down too hard on the canvas. I don't want to warp it or stretch it. So we're going to work it this way. All right. And it's going to take patience to get this off because it's not really going to want to stick to the canvas, like I said. Um, so we're just going to have to work it Okay, now I have that out, but I need to be sure it's well adhered and there's no bubbles in it. Um, so I'm going to grab a book and I'm just going to stick this book under here so I can just kind of work around with my fingers. Be sure we have this adhered down pretty well, that there's no bubbles in them. And that's fairly important for this next step. We want to be sure. Mm. 
All right, now we have that down. Now we are going to grab our Mod Podge. And the only kind I buy is the dishwasher safe because it does the same thing that regular Mod Podge does as far as adhering things down. Um, but, you know, it's dishwasher safe after it cures. Okay, now going to get some out and we're just going to start painting over the top of this canvas. And we want to cover our design completely, but I want to be sure it's thin enough I don't have brush lines because I really don't want any brush lines to come through this in the end. And we don't need a thick layer, but this is this is the part that that creates the magic in the end. If if you skip the Mod Podge layer, you're not going to have the nice crisp lines like we're going to have in the end of this design. All right now, if you'll excuse the mess I got going on here today, I've been really busy. Um, I am going to take some. This is just Anita's morning blue paint and I am going to start painting over the entire canvas including all the edges here and uh, this is just once it's done going to hang on the wall as um, oops, sorry about that even when we uh, mod podge this down they still tend to bubble just a little bit in a couple places the vinyl anyway um, sorry about that. I totally got off my train of thought, but, uh, yeah, because these will be hanging on the wall. They won't be framed. So I want to be sure I get the sides painted just as neatly and thoroughly as the front. And I'm just going to go over the entire canvas right on over that egg. And this is going to take about three coats to get that paint to how I want it to look. Um, so I'm just going to paint it, let it dry, and then once it's dry, move on to the next step. Now I like using my heat gun to rush paint along. Um, not with this, not when I'm using vinyl because it will cause that vinyl to start shrinking and warping and it will pull away. So this just requires patience, which is hard for me to come by sometimes, but uh, patience it is. Okay, and I'm just going to need a little bit more to go around the sides. And I just have this raised up a little bit off my table. It's sitting on a book um, that fits inside the wood frame. Just same technique I used when I was uh, trying to adhere the uh, vinyl to the canvas itself so that I could put a little bit of pressure on that as well and now we just let this set and dry and then move on for a couple more coats and then I'll show you the next step all right now this is where the magic happens this is so much fun to get in and start pulling away the vinyl. Be very careful so I don't pierce my canvas here to get started. There we go. All right. Now I don't know if you can see this one little spot right here. Where I had some paint. Um, 
pocket under. Let's see if I can show you there. Right there, just a little bit. It's it's not even bad. You can barely see it. Um, but I'm going to show you what I do to clean that up. I'm going to take my craft knife. You can take anything that you can scrape with. And I'm going to scrape off as much as I can. And huh, that yellow, that just with that little bit of scraping, that all came off. That doesn't even need touched up now. Um, but what I use to touch it up if I need to is just a white paint pen. Just take a white paint pen, and this is just a Craft Smart paint pen that I picked up at Michael's. And I'll just take it and I'll run it just along that edge if there's any of that color left, just to cover up that color. Because unless you know where to look and you're looking real close at the painting, you're never going to see it. All right, I have just a couple more to finish up. And then I will be back to show you how these look on the wall. All right, here they are all finished up and hanging on the wall over our dining room table. I absolutely love the way these turned out and they are just the perfect pop of Easter. Let me know what you think and I'll be back soon with a new video. Bye-bye.